Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back in ripping some solo challenge here. I'm down for Tharsis or Tractor. There's a city placement, so I'm kind of leaning into that Tractor gang. And there's two more cities in the opening hand. My lord. There is also energy. So Tharsis Republic, energy and stuff. I would love to get greenhouses for cities because we're going to place them. Some heat income because we do need to terraform. These cities, probably a commercial district and a inventor's guild. Now, for some reason, they broke the game. And what I mean by broke the game is the game used to work, right? It used to be correct. And now it's not correct. The game used to correctly give Tharsis the additional income from the neutral cities as defined in the rule book. And it did this time. Yo, you see that? We actually got three income. I was so ready to be salty. Why was I being so salty? I didn't need to be salty. Let's go for a three card pickup here. Um, Yeah, how insane is that? That's awesome. Uh, Cupola City, man. I think you're next. I wouldn't mind putting something down there for the two steel. And then we get some money back. We got two steel back. And as much as Noctis is on my to-do list, it might be better to just quickly get a little bit of heat income started. So we're up to eight income as Tharsis with one, two, three cities on the board. That's not incredible, but we do have more cities in hand. And there's some production and media group. I love Radchem, but I'm already energy starved. So let's not do that. Instead, let's get our titanium production. Let's get our heat production. And then let's get our inventors guild for look at a card, decide, decide no, and moving on with our lives. One little bit of card draw early can really help you get through the deck. Hired Raiders, Giant Ice Asteroid, Archaea Bacteria. I can play Rad Suits, but why would I when I have so many good things? Ugh, I'm really letting the Jovians go by, but let's be real. We're playing the Tharsis game. It's not, even though that's a city card, we're playing Tharsis. Most of our points, if we do it right, are going to come from uh, cities and greeneries, which is what we need to do to terraform. Because if we do cities without greeneries, we're going to not have enough points. So there's a Lunar Beam, GHG Factory, Import GHG, and Medical Lab, all of which synergize we have lots of building tags we got need lots of energy we need lots of heat income and space events synergize with our space event stuff so huge goaded win there let's go media group first then two titanium for you then i would love that energy <laughs> then we go in here and we steal two steel because that's more value than the $3 if you can use it. And we can because that will get us four more heat income. And now we have an energy. Oh, I didn't do my search. Oopsie. Uh, and then we have a little bit more um, energy left over for a city. And if we can get the science tags, my God, we are really in for some, some treats. Still ignoring the Jovians. Don't mind me. Let's look at a card. Bribe committee is helpful in getting to 63 TR. It's income and we have money back from events. So I think that's pretty worthwhile. Everything else is kind of just chilling for us. I wanted medical lab because we do have six building tags. That's like three income about to be four income. Uh, but we just couldn't make it happen. That's the end of our fifth generation. I missed my fourth generation retro kind of look we have two six income and six tr for 12 that's decent but we don't have enough metals really to make up for a decent income it's it's kind of just mid uh, a little bit of plant is weak a little bit of energy is weak but 12 heat is really going to help us drive this up and hopefully get some plant tags like played and we have a lot of cities seated on the board with some additional cities to come and a lot of good events right in terms of like having media group. So I think that we're in a relative, like moderate plus, like we're in a B plus position at the start of the game. Maybe I'm comparing it too much to a generation four, but optimal arrow breaking gives us a letter grade upgrade. We're now an A rating game. Lake Marineros helps and 
science tags baby that was a huge get for us space tags there's another space like my lanta we need to get up to the science tag requirement next um to do that we're gonna start placing things down probably for some steel instead of cards in the hope of getting medical lab this turn that should be four more income and we're now up to three science tags two more to go and we get the mass converter discount we play optimal arrow breaking and then we can do things like technology demonstration for money and heat back like oh my god look at all these look at all these space events we literally have five ready to go right that is going to be five times three 15 heat if we play all five and this is $15 plus media group. So $30 worth of money back for playing all of these. Huge value. Not to mention the discount on every single one of them with Mass Converter. So two science tags. One science tag. A city. And pets? Oh, pets is going to be really hard to play, but it would be nice, wouldn't it? So heat bump, heat bump what building tag would we like to copy probably just medical lab for four income uh we don't have enough energy or titanium stuff that's really that viable um i don't see a reason not to do it right now um i was gonna play another building tag i guess so i could have waited for that but i don't think we were at a break point Yes. Um, I want to put this beside a neutral city. Probably this one. For four income. Bunch of stuff. Then I don't have to wait for Noctis City until I get Mass Converter. I think that keeps us on tempo while getting us two points. Four dollars back, right? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Five times twenty dollars back on that card basically means that it breaks even plus you get the placement for four or two steel back so four dollars worth of value the real reason for doing it oh, space event man this space event is like actually like a hard maybe as well pretty expensive but could help all this heat though like do i really like i don't think i need lava flows given the amount of heat that i have like i'm just trying to make sure that we're really like where are before i play any of these space events i need the science tags and i can't seem to get them protected valley is pretty helpful i could put our ocean here to get two plants because there's no reason not to Then you put a greenery here. Um, yeah, and I mean, a bit, protected value is three income, and it's something that you need to play one way or the other. If we have the value or the money for it, let's just do that. Put it beside our city, beside an ocean, and call that a win. Close to Gen 10. That's kind of getting scary. We're only at Gen 9, but hey, here's all this space events. And some grass. I mean, that was a huge draft for us. Let's go ahead and look again. Investment loan with Media Group. Don't say another word. And invention contest. Please research. No, but we also we got Media Group and imported nitrogen. Both of which I think are incredibly important in terms of how helpful they are media group because i mean look i have five five that's ten ten events in hand four play that's 14 events 14 dollars back already but i think imported nitrogen is just more helpful i don't have animals or microbes yet but you know you gotta do what you gotta do all right all these space events man we gotta play them but i'm holding out for that science tag one more one more i mean we can play grass pretty easily here and the 25 dollars extra i think we legitimately just pass 
There's a science tag. If we have power, we do. Don't need it, don't need it. I mean, I'd love to get the Jovian stuff kicking, but I think that was a bad pathway for us. So we get the energy, we get the energy again. Then let's get the big old optimal. We have, look at all the titanium we have, by the way. Like we've absolutely been stacking. Earth catapult, oh, I could have looked first and played that. Cards played, cards played. Look, look at the chronological year. One, two, three cards played that I could have, I could have already been six bucks back. Um, that's, that's painful. That's so painful. I'm so happy to have gotten the card, but it's hard not to look at it as like a defeat. Let's draw two cards, see what happens. We got more ocean stuff. Let's play a big asteroid. I don't even know that we need this much heat. We have two heat bombs per turn and a freebie. I, like even though we get four titanium back, what does that look like for us? Right, like we get $16 back in titanium, plus we get $6 back. Sorry, we get $12 plus six is 18. So we still lose five bucks playing the card, but we get two heat pumps. Hard to overlook the value there. I think that we need ocean. So at least a large giant ice asteroid here um is almost certainly a correct play and then we, we kind of want to water walk along here especially if we're going to be throwing a capital down um a comet would give us the other ocean right now so ocean here let's go for a card Lake Marineris, man, we have so many oceans. I didn't even realize how many oceans we had. I really lost track this game of what we have and what we don't have. And the worst thing is, like, with Capital, it's probably better to play Artificial Lake. So you can just surround Capital completely. Like, absolutely we're talking about. Like, at this point, we're, like, ahead of curves, you know? Like, we're really nailing it down. Take our loan. I don't mind throwing it. Like, the fact that I get six bucks back from playing this event still makes it profitable. I mean, when you get the cheap ones, there's just no way around it. I don't have any micro cards, right? Like, it just didn't. It's not what we landed on. The capital is somewhat cute for sure. But you want to play pets first. You want to play everything else first. Artificial Lake. Um, you get the nitrolithic moss. We have enough bonus TR that we can even consider going after the 63 TR payout here. Um, but I think that that's it for this generation, unless I want to lose a little bit more energy because I don't need energy to turn into heat. So spending, spend it if you got it kind of thing. Let's go into generation before last. That was generation 10, by the way. Um, we are still in a really good situation, I would say, especially with nit nitrogen rich. That's a lot of plant income for the bonus phase and beyond. Advanced ecosystems, I mean, it's so nice, but I'm kind of already like quadruple stacked on everything else. And this is like a good science tag, but like I just don't need them. It's what a painful existence to have all the cards you ever dreamed of. One, two, three. I mean, I kind of, I'm wondering where we want to put the capital. Because I kind of like the idea of putting the ocean here. And then it's easier to, like, capital in this pocket. And you would, but you want a city here and you want a city here. That's really what you want. So is this the, where you put the ocean or here? I think we just maximize returns for a moment. So we go here. We make a super capital. Again, I already have played things. So capital comes in next. That's a lot of pointers. Then we throw some greenery down. Um... I 
I could import nitrogen. And the best thing is just nitrogen rich. Right? That's all those things. Now I need a lot, a lot of, uh, of plants. It's kind of the real sticking point right now. Uh, greenhouses is going to help with that. I'd love to have a microbe card before playing something like this. Uh, but it does give me the green, like the plantos right now. So sure. I don't think that we're going to be playing like a one point animal because we just don't have the cash. Like we're kind of in a, a hard spot right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six more plants for greenhouses. Like, I guess that's pretty powerful. I mean, I could play Noctis City next turn, but I don't know that we have enough oxygen. <laughs> Uh, we can get an oxygen bumper. That would be cool. There's the one-point animal, which is crazy. Because at this point, if we were just going for points, like this was a competitive game, I'd take the one-point animal, and i put two animals with this card. I don't even care that I don't get an ocean. And I get four animals there. That's seven birds, because you get to tap it itself. And, like, you're just, you're just running away with the game. But instead, I need a bunch of greeneries, so it does nothing for me. So I think we do nothing. We look. Tundra farming is cool, but it's, it's not enough. Um, then for the sake of argument, I am going to knock this city. And I am going to greenhouse. So from here, I don't know. We seem to need more plants. So you go here. I really prefer to get the plants that are, you know, adjacent to my stuff. Could have gone for this uh, plant, actually. This comes with two card draw. Is it worth buying a card? We get $6 back on it, so it is $26. $26 for half a granary and two card draw. Doesn't seem that good, but at the same time, I have enough money for what? I can buy, let's say it was $20 a greenery, I could buy four greeneries, plus get the extra one here, probably not two extra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like, no, <laughs> there's no way I can get ten plants. I need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight placements. Close with this, though. I think imported hydrogen for the plants first. And if we are in a losing spot, let's go for a card draw. Fuel factory. Well, that's just so pleasant. Um, greenery here. Greenery here. Yeah, if we could turn our heat into money, wouldn't that be something? Now, you can't play Large Convoy, but it wouldn't have gotten me another greenery anyway. Well, how sad. Like, I don't even have a fun adjacency spot for my greenery. I want to buy one, but I can't even get, like, a lot of money back or cards. We're just kind of chilling. We're just kind of chilling, and I need so many more greeneries. Like, it's just not it, fam. I think what we do is... We play that space event, the large convoy. I don't know what we could possibly get from it, but I'll do it. Trees. Oddly enough, if I play trees, that does get me the next green ring. So I kind of ended up in the same spot, but I played a $2 event to get there. Uh, in the spirit of trying to win, let's grab this card. Kelp farming, good to know. Yeah, 44 extra heat is a, it's a little bit too much, I would say. Uh, being on a breakpoint for pets is a little bit sad. Being 3 TR away from 63 TR with this in hand. Um, 17 points on cards might be enough. 
It might be enough to get us to the 100. What do you think? What do you think, gang? Yeah, baby. So we got over 100, but we lost by, like, 2 oxygen, and we didn't get 63 TR by 3 bumps. It's sad. It's sad. But hey, we got there. Like, we're here at the end. Um, and we're alive. Let's just be thankful for our health, okay? <laughs> See you next time. Ciao for now.